I might have gone on a mad one last night and played three months of the save off camera during which time Adam Marriott has gone missing. Let's see if we can find him in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 14 of the Kings Lynn Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And oh my gosh, was last night mad. I got on and recorded the last video you would have seen about 10 half 10 last night. Then I thought, you know what, I'll have a couple hours on, get a few more games done. And before I knew it, it was half three, four in the morning. I had played three months of the save off camera. So yeah, not bringing you FC United today. We've got a game against Stafford instead. And yeah, as you can see, it's the 6th of March. So we're quite away from when you was last with me. And oh, I don't know if I want to show you this. But alright, let's go have a look at the schedule since you was last with me for that Blythe game. And really, losing that game has kind of destroyed our season. Because we lost that one four goals to two. And then after that, we did win the next two. We beat Farsley 3-1 and Stafford in the FA Trophy. Hopefully we can recreate that today. We really need a win today. But following that, you can see we lost to Darlington 1-0. Then we went the whole of December without so much as a draw, let alone a win. Very, very disappointing month. Things picked up a tiny bit. In January, we only lost the once, but we did only win the once as well. That one against Brackley. George Brown in the 92nd minute. A very poor performance. We've gone through a few different tactics. Let's see if this will let me show you what formations we've been using. Yeah, here we are. And auto size this. So yeah, you can see we've gone through a few different ones. But the result against Brackley, why is it taking me back down the bottom? Why is it taking me back down the bottom? Okay, that's rather weird. Where is it? There's the Brackley one. So yeah, we won that one with a 5-3-2 wing-back formation. But, like I say, we didn't play well. So I switched to a 4-2-4. We drew 0-0 with South Shields, then lost to Curzon Aston. Then we went to a 4-1-2-3 DM Narrow. Got a very boring draw against Boston United. And then February, we played a friendly against Swatham. Because I thought, we've not won in a while. We're not picking up points. Try and get some confidence. Try and get Adam Marriott scoring. And he did score once in that game against Swatham. But you can see in all the other games... He has not scored. Like, when was the last time he scored before that? I know it was a penalty. And there it is, in the loss against Gateshead. He scored a penalty then. But that was his last goal until the one against Swatham. And even since then, he's still not been scoring. We lost to Levington 1-0. No Adam Marriott goal. We lost to Chester. Three goals to two. We finally got a win against Spennymoor, and I thought we was back. I thought we was going to go on a decent run, get some confidence going again. David Mbala scored a beautiful goal in this one, where he got the ball in the middle of the pitch, and he spun round a couple of defenders, taking them completely out of the game, giving himself a lot of space in the centre of the box, and slotted the ball home. So I thought that was going to be one to give us some confidence. But I've just played the Murphy game before recording. And Josh Newfield has absolutely done us. Adam Marriott did finally score again. His first goal since Spice Girls were top of the charts back in the 90s. And yeah, he's got a goal. Please let that mean he's back. 
I will give anything for a fully fit, fully confident Adam Marriott to show up today. Please, FM Gods. Miles, if you are watching, please give me Adam Marriott back. And so, yeah, that leads us to where we are today. I'll show you the league table as well because, boy, have we dropped. When you was last with me, we was comfortably in the playoff places. Fourth or fifth, I think we was. Now, we're down in 14th. We're on, what is it, 50 points. Six points off 12th. I thought getting top half was going to be easy this year. But we've still got some work to do. We need to pick up wins. The club vision isn't too bad. We've dropped down from an A, I think we was on, down to a C. But I've been a little bit clever. The one clever thing I did was that after the Blythe game in the FA Cup, I did ask for and receive a new contract. So I've got a one-year extension until the end of... What year is it? 2022. So I've got until the end of next season. So I don't know if I'm going to get sacked at the end of this season. It's a possibility if we don't get top half. But I'm hoping that new contract might help us out. We're just going to have to wait and see until the end of the season. And so, you know what? Let's get into the game. This is the team for today's game against Stafford. Can we please get a win? These are the 11 for the game. Barden is in goal. I can't pick between Barden and Barnes. Both of them are poor. Both of them have not been doing anything special in the three months we've been off camera. He just happens to be in possession, so he stays in goal for this game. Lewis Richards is the left-back on defend, as is Smith and O'Dwyer in the centre-backs. They're both on defend. Barrows is at right-back, just because, again, nobody's playing brilliantly. He's there. Keep him in. And then we've got a midfield three of Jordan Richards as defensive midfielder, just ahead of the back two. And then Parsons and Dronfield in the middle. Parsons as a deep line playmaker. Dronfield as a ball winning midfielder, both on support. And Mbala, as always, keeps his place on the left hand side. But we've moved him to a winger role. See what he can do out there. See if he can try and get some balls crossed into Marriott. That would be quite nice. And then George Brown is, of course, still on the right. Again, same with him. He's gone to a winger rather than the inside forward he was on before. Again, we need to get balls into Marriott. We need to get them into him so you can have the chances to put the ball in the back of the net. Adam Marriott is a deep line forward. I've tried him in every which role. Seriously, I've tried him advanced forward. I've tried him defensive forward. I've tried him... Whatever role there is, if I could pick him as a hand roll, I would pick that for him just to try and get him scoring. But, yep, yeah, that is the 11 for the game today. Please let this get us a win. The bookies, as you would expect, have got Stafford as the favourites. They're in 11th in the table. They've won three, drawn two of their last five. We have won one, lost three, drawn one of our last five. I don't know what's gone wrong this season. All right, now we're in the dressing room. I don't know what to say. I'm going to go passing a, a great opportunity to show all the critics they're wrong. Got a few of the lads motivated. Let's go passing it. Uh, I think there's a lot more to come from you. I'm trying to build their morale up. I was on Buster Nets stream earlier and he said that when you're in a run like this, just try and build up morale. So yeah, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go for Marriott. Pressure's off. I wanna try and get him to relax. Or oh, actually he's motivated already. Do I leave him? I think I leave him. So that's the team talk for it. Let's go into the kickoff and let's go, please. No idea what to predict. Uh, <laughs> 7 all, 7 all is my prediction. First highlight of the game, 12 minutes in, and it's for us. And we've taken the lead. No, we haven't. George Brown is offside, off the corner. But 
decent corner there. We're getting better at corners, I think. Here we go. Have another look at it. Parsons headed it across. And yeah, George Brown was just a little bit offside. Two minutes later, Stafford with a corner of their own. And they've scored. Of course they have. This season goes from bad to worse. Cummings with the very simple goal there. As we've dropped down to 15th in the league. Very, very simple header. Nobody really challenged him. And Stafford have the lead. 23 minutes gone now. Berry with the ball for Stafford. Off their throw in. But Marriott's won it back. But giving it away immediately. But we win it back again. Parsons. Can he play the ball forward? Nope. He goes back to Richards. And now can he find a teammate? We're going short to Smith. We are finally playing the ball very short, like I'm asking them to. I was infuriated in the Murphy game with the amount of long passes we were playing when I was not asking the boys to. But we are trying to keep the ball nicely here. And Barlett, as I say that, he goes with a long ball to absolutely nobody. And not sure what's going on here. This is a very long highlight. Hancock's with it in his own box. Nobody closing him down. He plays it long. Goes to Sangyang. And nobody again trying too hard to win the ball back. Hammett's in. It's 2 0. If anybody knows what I can do to turn this around, please let me know down below. Because I am out of ideas. I am out. Out of ideas at the minute. Our defence is awful. Our attack is worse. Our midfield is just non-existent. If we, if we survive to the end of the season. A. It's a miracle. B. Everybody's gone. Everybody is for sale if we go to the end of the season. 34 minutes gone now. Allen with the ball for Stafford. He goes long. We intercept it amazingly. Parsons now with the ball. Plays it short to Dronfield. And come on boys. George Brown. Can he beat his man? No. Why? Why are you trying to kick it there? Put Barrows now with the ball over the top. George Brown gets it. And now cross it in like you're supposed to do. He has. But Cummings has headed it away. And now it's Hammett. Two Priestmen. We need a priest man. Nicholson with the ball. Hammett, he's offside. He is offside there, surely. Surely he's offside. Apparently not, but Barden has made the save. And it's gone out for a corner ball. Nicholson to take that corner. Crosses it in. And Barla heads it away. Berry with it. And he crosses it in. Johnfield gets it away. And that ends that. Thank God they didn't score again. Well, that's half time. 2 0 down. They have had eight shots to our three. Four on target to our one. But we've dominated the ball. That's all the positives we've got. We have dominated possession. I, I'm, I'm lost. Please, somebody. If you're watching, let me know down below what you would do to turn this around. Let's have a look at the tactics. I'm tempted to go three up top just to see what happens. You know what? It can't get any worse. So we're going to have Mbala and Brown on the wings. And we're going to push Marriott forward. And then I think we leave it like that. Go for more direct passing now. Stop playing out of defence. And go for narrower attacking width, I think you can say. And uh, distribute to target man. And yep, leave everything like that. And let's go team talk. Let's go assertive. Uh, unlucky boys. They've got some more confidence. I'm glad they've got confidence because I haven't right now. And we're going to have to go attacking because we're 2-0 down. And let's go start the second half. Immediately into the second half, we've... 
What is that? What is that? What part of my tactics is telling you to play that ball out there? I've said narrower. I've said play through the middle. Play sort of passing. What on earth are you doing, boys? And this is going to be free. Oh, it's hit the post. We've survived. It's going to be free in a second, boys. I, I'll give it five minutes in the game. Here we go. Nicholson with it. Oh. Oh, my gosh. What is that? We've let him fall over. Fall over again. And then put the ball in the back of the net. What is going on? Let's have a look at this on the replay. Cummings headed it across. Priestman hits the post. Falls over. Falls over again. But still gets the ball in the back of the net. And now the star man Mbala is injured. Fan Dabby Dozy. Spywise can come on for you. Really don't have a clue what to do here. Uh, pff, you know what? Sod it. Kelly can go in there. A shadow striker. And like, I, I've got more direct passing on. But I'm saying to play it through the middle. So I still don't know what that free kicker was about. At the start of the second half where he went out wide. Have you not got eyes? I'm still angry about that. I'm so angry about a lot of stuff with this team at the minute. That's the changes I'm making. We've got Kelly coming on for Jordan Richards and Spy Rides for David Ebala in some futile attempt to get a, a goal. A goal would be nice. 20 minutes left to go. Kelly's got the ball for us. Goes back to Parsons who goes over the top. Marriott wins it. Goes past a defender. He goes for the shot but of course he puts it wide. Because he doesn't like playing for me, does he? Three minutes left in injury time. Just kick the ball to the other team, why don't you? Absolutely, why don't you do that? 3-0 down, they've not had the ball enough, so we'll give them it some more. Sangyang to Allen. And this is going to be four. I can sense this being four right now. Nope, we've cleared the ball yet. It is going to be four. We, why? What is going on with this team, people? Smith with it. Over the top. Nope. We can't do anything here. Oh, John Fields intercepted it. They've been nice enough to give us the ball back. Goes to Spy Rides, who's hit the bar. And, of course, it's bounced out. Because we can't get any luck at the minute. Ten seconds left. This is surely going to be the last highlight of the game. Even that Barden makes a hass of. Even catching the ball off a corner, he can't do. I'm tempted to dust off my old own my own old goalkeeping top and put myself in goal at the minute. Because this is ridiculous. And well, that is over. 3 0 defeat. Our star player injured as well, just to make things even worse. They bossed it, 15 shots to our 8, 5 on target to our 3, 8 fouls to our 4, so thankfully we didn't commit that many fouls, and we had more to possession. Please guys, anyone got any idea what tactics to use down at this level, please do let me know. Uh, calm, I'm not happy. Well... I don't know how much longer we are going to be at this football club, people. I think what we're going to do is, if we are still at the club, as Mbala's out for seven to eight weeks, that's pretty much his season finished. Oh, joy. How many games have we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Okay, so, you know what, if we are still at the football club, I'll come back for the Geisley and the Gateshead games to finish off the season. If anything happens with more board meetings or anything like that, 
I'll come back for when, whatever games follow that. Hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, guys, please give me a massive thumbs up down below. Give me pity likes more than anything. Please, guys. As many likes as I can get will really help me out. So, yeah, like the video, please. Subscribe to the channel if you want more Football Manager 20. Awful mismanagement just like this. Follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. Check out the Passion for FM Discord channel and the website for some awesome downloads, awesome resources, all good stuff like that. Details, as ever, down below. And, yep, guys. I shall see you tomorrow for hopefully the end of this disastrous season.